Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on homogeneous differential equation. A problem is solve d raised to 4 plus 64 of y equal to 0. Solution. So, the given equation is already in a standard form that is d raised to 4 plus 64 of y equal to 0. So, for this we have to write our auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is, so in terms of m I will write, so m raised to 4 plus 64 equal to 0. So, this equation we got it. So, for this again it is m raised to 4, so we need to go for the simplification. So, for this I will use one of the important uh, 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 standard prop problem here. So, before that, so m raised to 4 plus 64, I will write it as m square whole square plus 8 square equal to 0. So, m square whole square will be m raised to 4, 8 square will be 64. So, this is of a standard form a square plus b square form. So, what is a square plus b square form? We will see here. So, using a square plus b square formula here. So, a square plus b square is given by a plus b whole square minus 2ab. Means, uh, you have to use actually a plus b whole square formula. You shift a square plus b square to the other side other and remaining on other side. So, you will get this formula. So, here the value of a is m square and value of b is 8. So, we will apply here. So, therefore, therefore, m square whole square plus 8 whole uh, 8 square will become what here? m square plus 8 whole square minus 2 times a value is m square and b value is 8 here. So, which is nothing but so, I will write this one as, as it is. So, m raised to 4 plus 64. So, this will go for the simplification. So, this will be nothing but if you apply uh, here, you have to go for a plus b whole square expansion. So, which will be nothing but uh, or else uh, we will not go for a plus b whole square expansion. So, I will write uh, m square plus 8 whole square as it is minus you open it. So, 8 to the 16 m square or I can rewrite this one as m square plus 8 whole square as it is minus 16 m square I will write 4 m whole square. So, now you can observe this complete bracket is a square minus this complete bracket is b square. So, using 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 a square minus b square formula. So, a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b into a minus b. So, this formula will apply to the right hand side here. So, this complete bracket is a and this second bracket is b. So, therefore, we will get what here? So, therefore, m raised to 4 plus 64 is nothing but a minus b a square minus b square formula. So, a is, so I want to apply a plus b that is m square plus 8 plus 4 m this is a plus b. Another bracket is a minus b that is m square plus 8 minus 4 n. So, hope you got this idea of writing this. So, therefore, but m raised to 4 plus 64 already we have equated to 0. So, this is left hand side is equal to 0 means we can get the roots from this. So, which implies m square plus I will rearrange 4 m plus 8 one bracket and another bracket is m square minus 4 m plus 8 equal to 0 which is nothing but we will uh, equate the zeros. So, m square plus 4 m plus 8 equal to 0 or second bracket m square minus 4 m plus 8 equal to 0. So, which is nothing but so we will use the calculator to get the solution for this. So, to get uh, the roots for this, so more than option 5. So, this is the quadratic equation, use the option 3. So, coefficient of m square is 1, coefficient of m is 4 and coefficient of a uh, constant is 8. And see that uh, plus minus times plus 2i and 
minus times minus 2i so which is nothing but so here m value will be minus 2 times plus times and minus times of i2 okay so next we'll go for again a second uh, different uh, uh, quadratic equation here so here coefficient of m square is 1 then coefficient of m is minus 4 and the constant is 8 and you can see here so plus 2 plus 2i and second root is plus 2 minus 2i so means your m value will be 2 times plus or minus i2 so we got a complex roots now so therefore the roots of auxiliary equation are m equal to minus 2 plus or minus i2 and 2 plus or minus i2 so both are complex root but this is different and this is different so therefore to write a complementary function yc is equal to first we'll write a complementary function for the first uh, root here that is minus 2 plus or minus of i2 so here real part is so for this we have to write c1 sorry e raised to e raised to minus 2x bracket c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x then plus for this we have to write again e raised to 2x that is real part imaginary part is so i will continue c3 cos of 2x plus c4 sin of 2x so these are the complementary function so therefore the general solution is general solution is therefore y is equal to yc so therefore y is nothing but e raised to minus 2x of c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x plus e raised to 2x into c3 cos of 2x plus c4 sin of 2x so in this way we need to simplify a problem based on homogeneous differential equations